be your priority. And there are some times where you have to walk away from people. Amen. And that's a challenge a lot of times because we get our hearts so connected in what we want it to be. And we have to actually say, God, help me to give up, get over what I think I want it to be for this person and show me what you want it to be for them and show me mm-hmm. my position in their life so I won't over-invest something into something that you never intended me to invest in. So mm-hmm. a lot of times we have to step back and ask God to help us. And, you know, that's why so many um, – that's why you see so many um, folks that are in the church – that are sick all the time because they think they're assigned to everybody and they don't take time to rest. They don't take time to rest. You know, have that faith in God to know that you can rest. It's okay. You don't need to be out there with everybody because God does truly have people assigned to us, and sometimes we we just jump out there prematurely and miss the mark. We just miss it. (laughs) Okay, so – now, do you do artist management as well? Yes, I have an amazing artist. She's a spoken word artist, Ebonita Baby Jumper Dixon. Yes. Um, oh, my God. I interviewed her last year. She's oh, awesome. Oh, wow. She's, I mean, we have some other people on the roster. She's probably the most active one at this time. TK, the comedian. Uh, we got the list goes on and on. But I thank God that um, she's one of the people that actually – does I see with me as well. So, I mean, God is truly blessing um, people in the artistry. I only work with faith-based ministers because, yeah, yeah, I'm selective about Everybody ain't for me (laughs) because I'm here about lifting up the name of God and making sure that life is walking where it can represent it. It don't make sense to holler um, that you're saved but then cursing somebody else and drunk the next minute. So I thank God for the artists that I do work with because they're committed to living a safe life as well. Amen. Um, do you have anything that's going to be going on soon that, you know, people might want to get out and attend or be on the lookout for? Well, I'm going to tell you the best thing to do is go to the website, Gail Kyles, G-A-I-L-K-Y-L-E-S, and sign up. Just go to the text message. I mean, you can submit your name, your email, and we'll keep you noted or posted on what's going to be happening. Also on the website, I have an online community of women where we go and encourage one another. It's almost like a Facebook platform, but if you just Mm -hmm. want encouragement or you want to share your life with somebody or, you know, just have that woman community where you can find strength in, go join the online community. We're there, and I'll go in and and give words of comfort as much as I can. And I won't say comfort because you ain't got to be sad to come. You can be just one of the strongest empowered women out there. Come and drop us some nuggets. I need encouragement too sometimes. Hey, Amen. I ain't acting like a superwoman now. <laughs> That's I ain't acting like that. I done did I played that game before, and it didn't leave me a good place. And and mm-hmm. we got to be real with one another. That's why people yes. are killing themselves in the church. Yeah. We got it will to leave stop you that. empty. It will leave you yes. empty if you don't get the. Um, mental and spiritual support that you need as well, because when you're out there Amen. pouring out to everybody else, you need something coming back into you as well. So I humble Amen. myself down, and and I was listening at people, and I allowed them to, you know, pour back into me. Yeah, we got to be. We can't just be receiving it. Think, you know, somebody can't give to us. Uh, you know, it got to be reciprocated. Relationships need to be balanced. It's different if I'm your mentor and you my mentee because you expect something different from me. But when we just in a group of community, I'm I'm gonna give you strength for whatever you're saying too. Oh yes, and it's, and you know what? That's how it should be. You have to know your role at, at yeah. all times. You have to know your role because you said something just then that hit um, when you said. It's a difference if I'm your mentor and you're my mentee. And too many yes. times we have people that try to play so many roles till they miss where they're supposed to be, so they miss their season, and then they end up setting out not only that season but the rest of the seasons that God has lined up for them as well. So right. I'm telling you, right. it is something. How did you end up in motivational speaking, though? <laughs> well, th- I think it probably started more so, God. It's funny how he will connect a dot. 
It probably started when I started doing entertainment because I was the host for the event. You know, God has blessed us to do Fabulous Friday, Snaps and Sounds, Stitches with PK. God has blessed us to produce so many turnkey productions that the more and more I got on the stage, the more and more I became expressive (laughs) and hosting Mm -hmm. and giving nuggets. So God just kind of catered where people would invite me to come speak and you know, and when even when I went speaking, it seemed like a group of women. I always seemed like to be in a crowd where we always was somewhere encouraging one another. So I just kind of walked into it. That door opened another door. That's normally how God works. One door will open another. Just keep being faithful where you at. Don't get discouraged. God will honor you, and he will take you right where you need to be. Amen. Yes, he will. Um, so are you a comedian, too? I wish no. <laughs> people <laughs> people fool you up. That's it. Go out there on the stage, girl. I may be funny to my family, but I'm not a comedian, no. <laughs> <laughs> no you you, you may you you walk the right place. I know my <laughs> calling. If God decided to cultivate that gift in me, because they get paid very well, I would like it. But <laughs> no, I'm not a comedian. <laughs> well, you definitely have a way to present your m- material out there. That has a great sense of humor, and when I when I seen it, I mean, <laughs> I start lighting up because it's the way you uh, present it out there. It's not like you know people are used to seeing. It's something different. I want to encourage my listeners if y'all have not checked it out yet on on Facebook or, or either YouTube, y'all should really go and check her out. And you know we're down to the wire, but if you could give them your information, how they can get in contact with you, how they can book you, or you know get your services. I know you gave it out earlier the website, but any oh. other information that you might want them to have. Sure, I mean if y'all, I would love to come to your city. And once I get there, I think you will enjoy it. How about that? So in order to book me to come to your IC tour, to do an IC tour, or just to speak, or even if you want to have a private event where you're empowering women, I'll come to your Women's Day program. Um, So contact us at the phone number 800-845-6238 and ask for Tara Hughes. You know Tara. She's an amazing woman of God, and she will do whatever she can to make sure I get to where you are. And stop mm-hmm. saying, oh, it might cost too much. We can work together. You never know. We might can turn it into a fundraiser for you. Yes. Uh, but, of course, I would like to be able to eat a hot dog or two while I'm there. Amen. I know that's <laughs> right. <laughs> and I want to be able to feed Tara, too. How about that? <laughs> I got to give a shout-out. I got to give a shout-out to Tara. Tara be handling mm-hmm. things. I yeah. love Minister Tara. I love her. She handles things. I mean, she's really good. As a matter of fact, she's the one who linked us up. She she connected yeah, us. She connected us. <laughs> she's a gift to the body of Christ. I'm telling you. She's yes. amazing. And she actually, see, God be having that thing worked out. She was working with me since I was doing the um, entertainment, with Clean Night Entertainment. And when That's I got when first I decided, heard of Clean Night Entertainment, yeah, with because of Tara Hughes. So, Tara, yeah. we appreciate you, honey. Don't you think we don't appreciate you? Because God knows we do. But you can also follow me on social media. I am Gail Jenkins Kyles. That's K Y L E S. And that's G A I L. Gail Jenkins Kyles. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook. I have a like page on Facebook. And uh, YouTube, I have some videos on Clean Night entertainment on YouTube. But by all means, go to the website, dot com, And the phone number again is 800-845-2238. I would love to be able to even meet you, sis, in person and come to the area of wherever, who may be listening. I believe that we can have a great time together. Yes, yes. Well, I'm definitely going to keep you in mind whenever, you know, I hear people saying they got an event coming up. I yeah. definitely refer your name to them. And I want to thank you so much, Miss Cal, for stopping by thank UGA you. Gospel Star Wars Who's Block Talk Radio interviews. Thank you so much, sis. Stay encouraged. Don't you ever get off the air because you've been a blessing. Like you said a year ago, you were interviewing some of the artists. Thank you for that. Thank you for being faithful to your call. We don't take it for granted. We don't take you for granted either, sis. 
Thank you for this opportunity, and I definitely will keep praying for the success of your show and even for your ministry. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'd like to thank all the listeners for listening on iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, wherever you're listening in, whatever country you're listening in. I just love y'all, and I thank y'all so much as well. Be sure to spread this broadcast. Show this, I mean, share this interview with someone else. You never know who she can help birth the gift in. Amen? Amen. All right. Well, you have a wonderful day. You too, sis. Take care. God bless. Thank you.